The speech I was certain would be my biggest bomb was the one that taught me how to give the kind of speech audiences love and I love to give. Let me set the stage, literally. It was 10 years ago. I was on an extended national book tour and was about to speak to 5,000 people at a leadership conference in Toronto. I'd been on the road for eight weeks. I missed my husband and my kids. I was exhausted. I should have gone home to recharge. Ironically, I was promoting my book, which was about creating a life with balance, and my own life had gotten away from me. As I walked out on stage, I looked at the audience and thought, I just can't do this. I've got nothing left. I heard myself asking for a chair, and when it arrived, I sat down in the middle of the stage. No kidding. Then, instead of marching through my usual carefully crafted speech, I just started speaking from my heart. I said, I was supposed to talk to you today about work-life balance, but here's the truth, I've kind of lost mine. And I went on from there, in many ways delivering the essentials of my prepared speech, but fortified with more authenticity, pain, and humor than usual, much more. It was my most successful speech ever. I learned a valuable lesson that day. A speaking persona, no matter how impressive, builds a wall between you and your audience. That's why you need to compose every speech as if you're presenting your ideas to friends. Not an audience, but people you like and care about. People who like and care about you. Assume intimacy, assume trust, and then talk that way. Now, I'm not suggesting you get all casual and wing your next public speaking engagement. Far from it. Every presentation still needs great content and data and stories. But the truth is people don't respond to those things. They respond to people. They respond to real people. So whether you're speaking to an audience of 5,000 or five, take down the wall and open a door. The audience will walk right in.